guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Let's get straight into this warm up. Let's just go for a little march. It has been a very long time since my last workout. Many things factor into that. I did get an injury, other things happening behind the scenes, but I'm back now and I feel good. I did actually record one for you a couple of weeks ago, but after recording, everything on my SD card was white. And it was so infuriating. But my camera's good, my card's good. Right, let's get into this. Okay, let's bring those knees up a little bit. Have a little bit of rotation through the hips. Making sure you're working your core, bring that belly button in nice and tight. This is all just getting the heart rate up. Good. Again, okay, going to some butt kicks now. Just coming back, alternating, stretching out those quads, front of the legs, the big thigh muscles. We've got a lot of them today, we've got lunges, we've got squats. We're feeling good. It's a whole body workout. We're not missing a single muscle today. Nice. Okay, let's just go for a little bit of a rotation. Just twist through that spine. Just loosen up those vertebrae. Get some muscles warm, get that fluid moving around the body. Good work. So the purpose of this today, just to make you feel good. Get into the movement. Get ready for the summer. It's coming quick. Okay, let's reach across and up. Push and reach. Really stretch the side of the body. Good. So we've got the gym stick coming up. This is just the body weight warm up. And then the gym stick comes in for the whole heart of it. All right, let's go into a little jog now. Just a little one. Just get our body moving. Get our blood flowing a little bit faster. Get that heart pumping. Nice. Keep it nice and light onto the toes. Well done. Okay, last few seconds. Let's just bring those knees up a little bit higher. If you can't do this, you can just stay into your normal jog. We're going to go for the last few seconds now. Nice work. And relax there. Shake it up. And let's go in with the gym stick. Okay, hinge over. Lock those feet in. We're going to go straight with an uh, overhead lunge with our right leg. Okay, staying on nice and solid through the shoulder. Just keep breathing. Keep moving. Just focus on that right leg. You can use sideways view. So the right leg comes out, the left leg stays behind. Now, because we're going single leg, the gym stick wants to rotate with us. So we need to work making sure we're solid through the shoulder. Nice work, have a little pause. Next, palms facing up. Let's roll this gym stick up a little bit just to tighten it. We're going with bicep curls. So nice and solid through the core, slight bend into your knee, back straight, just coming straight up and down. Really squeeze those biceps at the top. You don't want any movement from the elbows or from the shoulders. Just straight up and down, keep those elbows locked into the waist. Keep breathing, keep feeling good. So a static exercise, just working single, isolated muscle. Just let the heart rate come back down a little bit before we go back into the lunges next. Nice work, okay. Unravel, arms above our head, exactly the same as before this time, our left leg. So forward lunges, arms up, Feel that stretch all the way through the lat. Into our left leg now. Let's go. Nice and low. Bend down with the back knee. You want about 90 degree bends in each knee as you're hitting the bottom of the exercise. But that's good. Any kind of movements while well, doing well. Do it at your own pace, however you feel. Just get that movement going. This is your workout, it doesn't matter how you do it, just make sure you're safe. Nice. Okay, slow things down again. We are winding back up. Okay, we're going into bent over row now. So we're going down to our hands, reach our knees, keeping those shoulders back, the 
the back nice and straight and we're coming straight up with the gym stick into that waist so we're leading up with the elbows we're squeezing the shoulder blades together and we're retracting the shoulders so we don't want to arch back bring the shoulders back chest up and then just squeeze into the shoulder blades keep breathing keep the abs nice and strong so we're not losing any focus in the lower back good okay unravel we're going to squat and press next so the gym stick comes under the chin nice deep squat into a nice high press okay we want about just wider than shoulder width with our feet toes pointed slightly out big squat and we push down to our chin squat straight up one movement drop and push good control the movement make sure you're feeling good the thing about the gym stick is you can just wind up a little bit if you make it too strong if you want to make it harder wind it up easier let it go all the way loose nice work push well done okay tricep extension is our last exercise you can do this on your knees or you can do it standing up I'm going to start on my knees this is the easier version so drop to your knees on your head drop behind your head and push straight up so this is easier and if you want a little bit more tension you just stand up and do it okay so exactly the same standing up just behind your head and push now it's harder because there's a lot more stretch and resistance in that band but keep your core strong make sure you're not arching the lower back so you're squeezing your glutes squeeze your abs good work and relax okay wind those shoulders let everything loose okay now we're gonna have a little bit more of a rest so grab yourself a little drink just let your heart rate come back down before we go all that into again okay and that signifies the last second of the rest good last section so we've got 10 more seconds grab your drinks have a sip get back into it we're gonna start again with the overhead lunge you feeling good are you ready let's go right leg only remember make sure you drop that back knee down if you've got a soft floor you can tap the floor with the back knee that's fine but you don't want to put any weight down so if you just want to touch it that's absolutely fine if you're on concrete or a hard surface I don't recommend tapping the floor it might hurt your knee a little bit but it's all good if you've got a carpet or a yoga mat but I stay nice and tight through the core nice and straight through the shoulders good let them come down well done loosen it up relax a little bit bicep curls are you ready palms facing out feeling good deep breaths try and challenge yourself now if it's too busy try and have a little wind up just one or half a half a rotation is fine just to squeeze in the bicep a little bit more just to work a little bit harder than we did before so you're always progressing good now when you're getting a bit tired it's easy to roll that back out shoulders back stay nice and solid through the core keep the back nice and straight good work well done okay overhead lunge left leg this time are you ready breathe control focus on the core make sure everything's safe arms go up left leg out and drop good down and push as I say you can tap the back knee to the floor if that's fine if you've got a soft surface but don't put the weight down so don't go onto the floor and rest just a little tap means that your front leg and your back legs are still working through the muscles make sure you're solid through the shoulder to not rotate with the gym stick and just keep it moving you're doing well guys keep it going nice relax shake it off okay bent over rows next roll it up remember going down to our knees palms facing you knuckles out dropping down to your knees shoulders back and we're rowing up and again make it a little bit harder for yourself than the last set you want to make it one more rotation or even half a rotation is fine 
but just anything that we're doing more than the previous set. So always working harder. Making the body work harder, making the muscles pump and work, making the heart pump that blood around the body. Everything is working harder than before. Good work. Okay. And the same goes for the squat press. If you want to make this harder, let's go a half rotation in the, in the band. Under your chin. Feet just shoulder width apart, toes pointing slightly out. Drop down and push. Good. Punching straight up. Solid through the shoulders. The triceps, the core. You're working your whole trunk. Abs, lower back. All those muscles are working to support that spine. Obliques. Good, keep going. Well done. Okay, drop. So again, I'm gonna show you, we're getting the triceps from the knees. And if it's too easy to from the knees, too hard standing up, go to your knees and go for a rotation in the, in the bowl. Drop down behind and push. If it's too easy, you can do a couple of rotations through the bar. You can stay on your knees if you want to make it really hard, or we can stand up. But make sure when you're standing, you're supporting your glutes, your abs, you're not swaying in the lower back. Keep it going. Push straight up, squeeze those triceps. Last exercise now, last five seconds, come on. Three, two, one. And relax. Take your foot straps out. Give yourself a rest. And grab yourself a drink. Well done guys, we're getting through that workout. It's just something to get you back into the movement. It wasn't overly hard, but it worked the whole body and we're making yourself feel good at the same time. Losing some calories, burning some fat, and just feeling great all together. Well done guys for completing this. Again, thank you for staying with me over such a long time of no exercises and no videos for you. But I promise you, I am back. I'm feeling good. My camera's working. My memory card's working. I'm feeling great. Well done guys. Guys, I'll see you next time. In the meantime, take care. Bye bye.